Welcome everybody. Today's topic is, testing the so-called test. Never mind what the developer, and inventor, Kerry Mullis, had to say about that. Key question today, what do those swabs do? Original, sterile, and clean to make sure everything is, as it is designed to be. Whatever that might be. Now for a closer look. Cotton swab first for comparison. And now the COVID-19 test swab. Sorry, that reaction to a recommended warming of the material, made me twitch as well, let's get back to that. Up to you, what to make of that. I suggest we move on to try something really insightful. Test some meat, to see, what it actually does to you, in contact with soft skin, or mucous membrane especially. As you can see, the meat is spotless. Let's go with the cotton first. Remember to check, if you can see a difference, each time. One thousand fold magnification. Clean meat. Look exactly, despite really working it, no trace. Now the covered swab. And just a gentle touch. You can already see the first spikes that have broken off, on their way into the flesh. Let's have a closer look. Those spikes broke off and penetrated the meat. It took little time to realize. They were everywhere. All standing straight up. When looking at the swab, obviously by design. Meat cells to the left showing the magnification level and to the right a spike, that's small. Going straight in. Swab after touching the meat. Barely anything came out with it, but a large of it remained, on end. In, the flesh. So to conclude. I cannot tell you what this black twitching fiber is, because I do not know. It could be something that came from the air like in no time and acted the way it did when coming in contact with warm air. Big could though. But here are the facts. If the task was to harvest a bit of genetic material, a normal cotton swab would do just fine. This spiked swab however, obviously has a different purpose. It is highly ineffective in harvesting materials compared to wrapped material that is off course. Much better for scraping and collecting genetic material. Unlike for example trying to clean your ears with a swab that doesn't get the material out, so much as it leaves its material inside. The covered swab however does sting and break, 
the exact opposite of what you are looking for when trying to get something out of something. Instead of leaving half your tool, together with the material, you claim to want a harvest, inside. So if anything, the swab is a delivery system and not a harvesting tool. It leaves large amounts of itself, at where it touches skin and flesh, and this material stings, and penetrates, even moving further in, over time, according to my observations. What those spikes do, or what they deliver, is beyond my testing capacities, I can only prove to you, that they do break off, and are designed to do so, to remain in the body for whatever purpose. And that there must be a distinct motivation behind that, because from a practical point of view, it is countless times harder for you to make something that small, with each part standing up straight, when you can achieve your goal already by just bluntly wrapping cotton around a small stick, and you are good to go.